after four straight overtime games. Pretty convincing 4-1 to one win tonight. Overall thoughts on the way your team played tonight? Yeah, you know, we did what we had to do. I, I, I didn't think we were great, but, uh, you know, we scored some good goals and, um, and you know, we kind of took care of business, you know. Felt like we could, we could have been a little cleaner than we were tonight. You talked before the game about the fact that in the first four games, your team hadn't scored a first half goal yet. Yeah. You got three before the intermission tonight. What changed? What did you guys do differently on the offensive end before the intermission? Yeah, we, we were we were uh, dangerous. You know, we we talked about really pushing to get to get some goals early, um, and and we were just a little more aggressive, I think, going forward. Vanessa Valdez got the game winner the other night against Washington. Two goals tonight. Right place at the right time, or do you see a significant uptick in her play lately? Well, you know, she's she's around the goal a little bit more, and and uh, you know she she had the two, and she could have had she could have had a couple more, you know. So she's just finding herself around the goal a little bit more, and you know if you, you get enough chances, you're going to get goals. Is that almost supposed to be interpreted as disappointment in a two goal two goal performance? No, when no, say no, no, a couple look, more. You, you score two, you should be happy. <laughs> On a night like tonight, where you outshoot your opponent 26 to four. Yes, one of them ended up in the net after a bit of a scramble in front of your goal, but how do you even evaluate your defense and your goalie on a night like tonight when there's not much yeah. test? Yeah, well, we got to look at our, uh, you know, when we look at our backs, we're going to have to look at how they started our attack, how they how they functioned with the ball and, and you know, the balls they were playing in the midfield and up front and that kind of thing. And we do got to look at that, that goal a little bit because I don't, I don't, you know, I felt like in a game like this, when we are in control, we shouldn't give up a goal. You know, no matter what kind of goal it is, when you're when you're in in control that much, you probably shouldn't give up the goal. When you talked about your desire to score early, how much of that was to jumpstart the offense, and how much of it was to give your starters some rest after yeah. four straight overtime games? They needed rest, <laughs> for sure. I mean, we knew if we, if we could get some goals, we were going to get those guys out of the game, you know, as quick as we could. So, you know, it was nice to, to get them some rest because they have played a lot of minutes. And then the result of that, of course, is you got a lot of young players, some significant minutes. Out of those young reserves, anybody jump out at you? Anybody impress you? You know, the, I think they all played pretty well, and and they're coming on. You know, I, I think Emily Cope over the last couple of weeks has, has come on a little bit. And, um, you know, a couple of those guys that um, were sort of new starters tonight in, in Harrington and, and Bishop, they, they, they look quite good. So, you know, those guys all can play. I mean, they're, they're all capable of playing. It's sometimes it's hard when you know when you got Claire playing in front of you. It's tough to get minutes. You know. <laughs> you come into tonight's game ranked for the first time that this team has been ranked since 2006. How much did you and your staff talk about that with your team? And what are your thoughts about the way this team and just the makeup of your players will be able to manage that success and that uh, recognition? We talked about it very little. I mean, it, you know, it was a very quick, like, let's not worry about it, let's go do what we do, and, you know, not let it affect what we do. Because, you know, coming to, into the season, if you look at things that, you know, we set out as goals, being ranked wasn't one of them. You know, that's really not that important to us. But what is important is how we play, you know, and the quality of our play, and, um, and we got to keep working on that. You know, that has to continue to get better. You now have eight days until your next game when Indiana, you face Indiana. Being undefeated after five games, including a win and a tie against ranked teams, is that almost too long a break? Would you like to play sooner while you're still on this roll? No, I, we need rest. We, we need some rest for sure. And, and we built some rest in this week, and we'll, we'll build some more rest in and over the next few days. Like, you know, the, the, the it's taken its toll, the minutes on some of these guys, and some of them have some, some injuries that are popping up that, you know, aren't keeping them out of the game, but not quite 100%. So hopefully with, with a week, by, by next Friday, we'll have everybody at 100%, and we'll be, we'll be moving pretty good. 